You're watching Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. All right. Ignorant. And you are ignorant. You pay her the money you owe she'll stop harassing you. You get where I'm going, Mr. Hubbard. I, I... <laughs> they are on every afternoon. The participants are not actors. They're actual litigants with real cases appearing before real judges, right? What's really going on? And what's the deal with all those TV judges? I have a black robe. Could I be a TV <laughs> judge? To answer it's that possible. question, we have local attorney uh, Felix Vega here. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Absolutely. Very good. I'll treat you as a hostile witness. What's the deal with these shows? Is it real? Um, a lot of it's real. The cases are actually real. And basically, it's very simple to get on. You go online, you fill out an application on one of the judge shows' websites. The trick is, these are actually arbitrations. They're not trials. They're not actually in, set in a courtroom. So what you're saying is that when I go to the doctor's office, there's a form that says if she cuts off my arm instead of just giving me a physical, I have to go to mediation or arbitration. I could theoretically go to Judge Judy with Dr. Thomas? Yep. Wow. Are they That's real judges? They're, most of these people that are on TV now, they're representing that they're a judge. They have to be a real judge. If, but any sort of arbitration or mediation, someone like myself that's an attorney or any other attorney, we could set up an arbitration right here in the studio really? and do one if we wanted to. I know your, your mind's spinning now. I got it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> judge Chris. Okay. I, I want to... <laughs> I have so many questions about all of this. It, it, that, that's not actually a courtroom then. No, that, that's actually a TV studio and a set. And what the trick is that the producers actually control the whole setup and how the persona of the courtroom looks. What these people do, like you see those two people right there, they've signed an agreement already in advance that they're going to go to Judge Judy's courtroom or Judge Alex or one of these places. They sign away all their jurisdictional rights, all their rights to anything except to get up there and actually argue against each other. And do the rulings stick? The rulings stick. Here's the trick, though. Guess who pays the bill? Uh, I'm guessing if you're telling me that, they don't. The, no, the show pays the, show the bills. Pays it. So they, really, they almost are actors at that point, huh? Pretty much. They, they, all they are agreeing to do is go on and present their uh, their both sides of their story. And then what they do is, like, if they if someone asks me, well, what about if they want to appeal? Well, what's the purpose in appealing if you're not really well, footing well, the bill? Well, that could be a show. It could be appeals court. That Chris's could be. Court. It could be. I could be the judge appeals Chris, judge. Judge Chris, there you go. I love that idea. Okay, let's, let, let, let's take a look at one of these clips, and I have two sure. questions for you. Go ahead. Let's watch this. When you purchased the car for her and you did the negotiating, was that during the sometimes yes, sometimes no? You get where I'm going, Mr. Hubbard. I, I, you don't get where I'm going. I don't understand. I don't you care whether you get where I'm going or not. I don't, I don't care whether you get where I'm going or not. Okay, two questions. First, uh, does that happen in regular mediation when you go into the room with the taupe walls and, and the manila folders? I don't know if it's that contentious. I know a lot of it is personality right. with Judge Judy and some of these other judges. However, interesting point about what she says on TV. There was actually a case when the People's Court was on with Judge uh, Mayor Ed Koch, uh -huh. and a father sued the show because... Mayor Koch called him a kidnapper. And what the courts found in New York is that if you're an arbitrator or one of these uh, judges, you have absolute immunity, just like a regular arbitrator would. You wow. can comment on everything, you can give your own opinion of everything, and you're absolutely immune from being sued. That's a dream job. Okay, the second yeah, question for me is, <laughs> would the stuff that Judge Judy says, would she get away with that in a regular courtroom if this case made it to a regular courtroom? To some degree. I mean, I do a lot of criminal stuff mostly, and as a prosecutor, so some of the judges will take barbs or they'll, you know, yeah. throwing a little jab just to kind of lighten the mood or anything to the extent where they actually get away with yelling at the person openly in court this is just a one-on-one -on -one situation that's why they have more leeway if you're in front of a jury absolutely not you can't do that Wow. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury I think that we should have Chris Kimura's appeals court and that would be oh I don't know three o'clock? That sounds like a good time slot. I could be your bailiff. All right. Oh excellent. There I love go. that idea. Rusty? No, that name's no. taken. All right. Very good. All right. Well, I'm going to dismiss this witness. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge Cora. Uh, this case is dismissed. The next case is Parveen versus <laughs> Mother Nature. Oh, that's Go a ahead. good one. That's a good one. I would bring that to your courtroom. I would definitely bring it to your courtroom, and I think you'd rule in my favor. Thank you, Chris.